So I've had a couple questions about why I put coolant in there if I was going to flush the engine and I've also had some questions about the putting the oil in it and what type of oil and all that good stuff so I thought I'd answer some of those questions today and kind of why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm actually draining the coolant out right now. Um, going to go ahead and get that drained out and I got some distilled water now I'm going to flush the system. One of the reasons that I put coolant in it at first even though I knew I was going to have to flush it out was the coolant actually it, it lubricates for the, the water pump, the seals, and it also kind of helps prevent leaks on some of the O-rings. And so instead of just putting the distilled water in there, I wanted to put the coolant in there so it would get that lubrication and it would get the you know what it needs at first. And I've got a couple hours of runtime on the engine now. I'm gonna drain the coolant out, I'm gonna flush it out with distilled water and get the system clean as I can, and then put fresh coolant back in the system. The other questions I've had is about the oil and what I, I know about the, the two strokes is they do like a straight 40 weight oil. And on the initial startup on this unit, I didn't want to run the 40. I actually wanted to go with the 1530. Um, my reasoning behind this is I know I'm gonna run it, which I ran it for two or three hours, I'm fixing it up the oil out, is basically on the 1530, it's thinner. And so it gives you a little bit more tolerance if there's any rust in the engine or any buildup in the engine. It's, it's like cleaning it with, a, with a, a thinner fluid. So that stuff will be able to come and break loose and come out for the most part with the thinner oil. Um, so that's kind of the plan on that. And now we're gonna dump it out. We're gonna put 40 weight back in it. One of the downsides to running the thinner oil is as you can see, we've got the Detroits. They will spray a little bit of oil. You see all this, this is slobber. Some of it is fuel. You're gonna have a little bit of it with the Detroits, especially running the M95 injector. You're gonna get a little unburned fuel if it idles a lot. So once we get it up running and get it loaded, you know, the rings will seat back in. But there's a little uh, skirt ring on the bottom of that piston and they don't like the, the 15 weight on the, on the hot side. And so they won't necessarily wipe that oil away. So that's why we get a bunch of this oil blown out of the exhaust. So we'll dump that back out. We'll put the 40 weight back in it. Most of that slobbering should quit. Um, I've ran temperatures on every cylinder. We've got good temps with the temp gun. All our injectors, the racks are set correctly. Everything, the banks are running even now. So we've got it, and, it, and if you listen to it in the sound, it sounds really good and we don't have any real smoke. So we'll get the 40 weight in it. Hopefully we'll get the slobbering kind of cleaned up on it. Um, I've got a little bit of touch up work to do, but just kind of want to answer some of those questions because I've had a lot of people asking. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the videos.